Hey guys, it's Chessie Blue here, and today we'll be doing a hack tutorial uh, on how to change our rivals to hot rod rivals. One of my most popular videos. Oh, it's not really a request, but uh, a viewer was actually asking me how to do this in pretty much nearly all my videos. Uh, so I thought a video on how to do this would help him, but also everyone else. Uh, so I thought this would be a very helpful uh, video for everyone. Um, so you're going to need two tools. Uh, well, one tool. Uh, you're going to need Art Money uh, SE, that's the free version, it will work absolutely fine for what we're going to use it for. Uh, and for an emulator, if you want to hack the Dreamcast version of the game like I am, uh, DE Mule is the uh, one you'll want to use. Just Google both, they'll show up. And if you want to hack the PlayStation version, uh, EX, PSE, SE, the PlayStation emulator, the most popular one, um, will work uh, as well in the same method. Um, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, just make sure you select the process and you'll know which one you're doing um, when it shows up. Okay, so in order to start this, let's just go into Arcade. Um, it doesn't matter what level you're on. Okay, so straight off the bat, I'm just going to say that in order to learn how to change cars in this game or Vigilante 8, you're going to have to learn how these cars um, order in ID. So what I mean by that is the Wonder Wagon is value 0 and we skip all the way to the end of the select uh, the Wapiti 4 4 wheel drive is actually value 17. Now when I was first starting to hack this I thought the Wonder Wagon was car 1 and I don't know what it's 2 but it's not, I was a value off and that's what made like a weak difference of my time. Um, but yeah once you start learning that you've identified the cars so this is the easy part now. Um, the best thing to do, what I found, is just list them in Notepad or um, write them down on paper. Whatever you want to do uh, is probably the most easiest thing to do. Uh, and once you do that, just select whatever you know, character you want to play as. Doesn't really matter. So. Um, it is my ploy to burn and destroy. Okay, so now we've got the rival select screen up, and we now know each value of each rival. And since we know that, we're going to be able to change them much more easier. So, in order to do this, we've got two processes. We've got search and filter. So, the f for the first step, we're going to uh, hit search. And for the uh, Zendu RV, um, is value 5. So, we put value 5 in. It comes in with a whole, whole bunch of results. Uh, and in order to, um, to narrow it down, we just change... The value we search for. So value 5 is now going to be value 17. So the more higher your um, result, oh, sorry, the more higher your value is from your original result will be easier for your search. So we go filter and we hit 17 and bam, we already have our identifier for our first rival. We hit add. Uh, I would say name this just so in case you, I don't know, mix up your values, um, you might accidentally reorder them, uh, you know which one's which. It doesn't really matter in this case, but just in terms of um, educational purposes, it would be much easier. So we've already identified this one now. So we're now going to go, um, we're now going to lower that down to zero because um, when it comes to searching for other rivals, we're going to keep using the Wapiti 4W. I keep saying 4W, the 4-wheel drive. Uh, the reason for that is because that value is the highest we can use and all these cars can be uh, all lower than that. So it's going to be easier to search for. Okay, so the marathon is value uh, value 11. So we hit search and go 11. Punch results. We already know that happens. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the marathon a little bit lower. So Zendu RV, which is value 5, like we knew before. Bam, we found the result again. And we just changed to make sure we got the right one. Yep, so the El Guerrero is actually 7. Okay, so we've already found our first two rivals, uh, which is an absolute great start. Um, especially if you're just learning, <laughs> you're going to be really amazed when you see this. Um, okay, so the Grub Jewel Loader is... Uh, I haven't done this for a little while, so um, values 13. So we hit search, get values 13, a whole bunch of results. We're going to go much lower here. 
Uh, then Lumis in the truck is four. Uh, okay, so value four. Hit four. And we've got two results. Not too bad, uh, but let's just up it a bit more to ten. And we've narrowed it down, so it, it just sort of makes things cleaner and easier uh, for yourself. When we're trying to search for our last rival, this is where things get a little bit, well, a bit confusing, or a bit, uh, well, yeah, you'll see in a minute, if it happens that way. Uh, okay, so we'll just lower the algorithms. Um, so yeah, zero is two, yeah, okay, that's good. Now, for the last rival, We'll start from the tsunami because we know that's value 10. This for the sake of the video, it'll be quicker. <laughs> um, okay, so a bunch of results. Normal. Let's go all the way to the way you full drive. Go 17. And notice how the last value is always the most biggest pain in the ass. Um, I found that sometimes right now um, we can change it and then go to you know, value 16. It narrows it down by one, but we're going to start getting a whole bunch of values that are going to be a little bit sort of annoying to figure out. Um, okay, so the Lunar Explorer is 12, so noticing how it's not filtering down anymore, it's just a matter of try and error now. So, yeah, so it's, it's not going to narrow down anymore. So we have to hit add all. Now all the values here are now 5. We change it and they're all changing together. So this is what I mean how this is the biggest pain in the neck. Um, it's not too bad. Um, we can work with it still. Uh, most of the time it's the last value you search for. Um, that's the one that you want to change. Um, but just for the sake of this video, we'll change all of them. Uh, just to be 100% sure. This is probably going to happen to you. Um, which isn't a big deal. So now that we searched for all our cars, what we're going to do is um, we're going to ignore the first, or actually no, we're going to ignore from 20 onwards, um, or 20 below, sorry. Uh, they're all the standard cars. We already see them. So we want to start changing the game up and changing uh, to the hot rods for our rivals, uh, which only happens in Quest. So um, you can change any of these values, you can copy mine, they're going to be the same anyway, even if you count them. So we'll change our uh, rivals to 36 for rival 4. This is just so we know that it's rival 4. I'll just not name it rival 4 just so you understand where I'm at. That's for below, so just, yeah. Um, okay, so we've changed the vert uh, we've changed the El Guerrero to a Vertigo hot rod. Uh, we're going to change the uh, Lewis and Truck hot rod now from value two. So uh, that's value 25. 25. What else should we put on? Should have the first hot rod version of myself. <laughs> okay, so that's value 30. I'm starting to see a pattern. Um, Okay, and so uh, what should we do for the last one? Uh, the half truck. You don't really see that actually, 37. Okay, so now since we've changed all our values, what we want to do is we want to freeze them. We don't want those to change as soon as we start a level, because in memory, we've changed these values, but they're only temporary if we don't freeze them. So as soon as I hit the A button, everything the game sees on screen here, it will replace. So make sure you freeze them, and then just hit the A button. Um, a level will load, if I haven't messed up these values, but um, you should load, so. It takes a lot of trial and error, you know, you might not get this first try, so just keep at it. Um, worst case is, you leave the rival out till you learn, but it doesn't matter, because we've got it. So. Wait. A hot rod version of myself here. Star power. Yes, okay.
and a Vertigo Hot Rod. So, there you have it guys, um, that's how you get the Hot Rod version of your rivals um, in arcade mode. So, Star power! Very cool. Um, but there's plenty more to come, um, considering that I've sort of a workaround on the um, tool issue, why it wasn't updating. Um, Star power! Sorry about there's going to be a lack of videos at the moment because of that issue, so until I figure it out, um, that's just how it's going to be. Um, you can tell I'm not playing very well because I'm using a very old PlayStation control for this, so it doesn't matter anyway. We've got, you know, you've, got, you've learned how to hack the game a bit, so we just um, work with what we've got now. Uh, and hopefully that's helped a lot of you out uh, and a lot of your questions. Um, and I'll, I'll make a few more uh, hack videos that are pretty simple um, for everyone to learn. So, um, but you know, if you're pretty savvy with this stuff, you're probably going to figure out on how to do some other things without me telling you, but if you want to stick around um, for hacks uh, on how to do them, um, yeah, definitely stay tuned because I'm going to be probably doing them probably all today, <laughs> uh, and, and we'll sort of go from there. So, uh, thanks to everyone who subscribed, thanks for watching, thanks for staying through the whole thing, um, and hopefully you've all learned something, um, especially from a game that we all like, So, because we're, we're all caring about the same thing, so hopefully that's hopefully that you've learned something uh, today from that. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I'll see you in my next video.